Okay, so today we are all here doing a network learning at the Teachers Conference 2014 and uh, we were just discussing at, uh, at this booth where we uh, are trying to manage ICT connection but as uh, described by Yong Kyung to me, uh, there is actually this free app that is not even required to download, it's called the Desmos. Desmos.com Yes, Yong Kyung is at the background list hearing all this. So what we have done is we can actually remove all these uh, variables first. Okay, let's pretend that this is a brand new simulate, uh, brand new activity that we're going to do. How do, we, how do we cancel? Just, just okay, cancel. cancel. Okay, okay, the cross good here. Job. Good job there, Yong Kyung. <laughs> so now yeah. we can Let's try a simple one. Linear yes. equation. Y equal to mx plus c. Y, y equal, equals equal m, m abc. Yes, m x x plus Plus go back to one two three, right? Plus plus then C C, right? A B C, C, all right. And we okay. go back. Go back. Yes. Okay. Enter. Enter. Okay. Enter again, perhaps. Oh no, we need to probably. Uh, we have to close this. Uh, let's see how do we do this. Okay, as uh, described by the app Desmo.com, this works better on tablets. Uh, but not so good on a small handphone. So well, even laptops or laptops mm. or a computer. Yeah. So, so you like to have slider, right? Yep. So you just press all. Yes. Now you have M equal to one, then then C equal to one, right? By default. Yes. Right. This is by default. Yep. So I just I'll change orientation again. So let's play. What is the effect of changing the gradient of the equation? And the student can interactively see how the uh, changing value of M affects the slope in the gradient. Correct. And sometimes when teachers just draw on the board, right, they only give one example and it's hard to understand using that one example, right? You know, you just draw that, that, that uh, y axis, y x axis and then one, one line. It doesn't really mean much about it, right? But now you can see that, you know, with the change in the value and whether it's positive or negative, there's a change in the slope. Yes. So let's look at what happened if we were to change the value of C. The y intercept. Ah, the y intercept. You can see that the graph is actually moving. Yes. Up, right? Yes. Even though that the x, uh, x coordinates is zero, but the, the, the y intercept change. So this is something which is important because they visualize. Yes. It is not something which is abstract, like y equals mx plus c. That one is very abstract, right? Yes. But right now you can see it very clearly what yes. change. Okay, so here you have it. We are at Teachers Conference 2014 and we are here doing network learning. Lu Kang, Yong Kyung and Nelson.